Hi, I'm Neil Tranter, and this is a guided Bateko breathing exercise for beginners. In this video, we'll be doing the breathe light exercise, which is also known as reduced breathing. And this is the most important of the Bateko exercises. I'll spend the first couple of minutes explaining how it works and covering some points on safety. And then for the rest of the video, I'll guide you through the breathe light exercise. If you're returning to this video and have already been through the introduction, then you have the option to skip straight through to the guided exercise using the time code shown on the screen now. So central to Bateko breathing is the concept of air hunger. Air hunger is the feeling of not getting quite enough air, like you'd like to take a deeper breath, but don't. That feeling that you get when you're walking up a hill or swimming underwater. How do we generate this air hunger? Well, in this particular exercise, the focus is on breathing softly, quietly and slowly through the nose so that we breathe in less air. We aim to breathe about 20% less air than we would normally do. And this results in an increase in carbon dioxide in the blood, which our body interprets as air hunger. And when we breathe in this way, we gain a variety of benefits. So by slowing down the breath, we stimulate the vagus nerve, and this calms and repairs our nervous system. And by breathing less air, we also allow the gases of carbon dioxide and nitric oxide to accumulate in the blood. And this results in increased blood circulation and improved oxygen delivery to the body and brain. So paradoxically, even though we're breathing less air in, we actually end up supplying more oxygen to the tissues in our body and brain. This is a really powerful exercise, and when practiced regularly, it can reduce stress and anxiety, as well as improve your sleep. It can also help to reduce symptoms of a whole host of chronic health conditions, including asthma, brain fog, long COVID, and panic disorder. The exercise comprises of two stages. In the first stage, we just focus on awareness of breathing without changing the breath, so no air hunger. And this is valuable in itself because for you to change your breathing, you first need to be aware of how it already is. In the second stage, we then begin to soften and slow the breath, and this creates the air hunger that we've just been talking about. If you're interested in learning more about Rateco, then stay tuned to the end of this recording where I'll link to a great video which explains all of this in more detail. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, then please click the red subscribe button below and click the little bell to be notified when I release new content. Just a few words on safety before we begin. Although this exercise is suitable for most people, if you're pregnant or you have any serious health conditions, then please speak to a Bateko practitioner before continuing. It's important that you take responsibility for your own well-being, so if you're in any doubt, please seek further advice. You can pause now to read the medical disclaimer shown on the screen. Also, please don't listen to this recording while driving or operating machinery. Okay then, so let's begin with the breathe light exercise. To keep things simple, I'll guide this as if you're sitting on a chair, but please feel free to use other postures and adapt my guidance accordingly. So when you're ready, just bringing your body into an upright posture. And it can be helpful to imagine a piece of string attached to the top of your head, gently lifting up your upper body towards the ceiling. Imagining and feeling the space between your ribs opening up and allowing your mouth to close for the duration of the exercise and then coming into stillness. So we begin with the first stage of the exercise, awareness of breathing. 
So when you're ready, allowing your attention to come to rest on the sensations of breathing at the tip of your nose, to the feel of the flow of the breath and the nostrils. Tuning into the slightly cooler air coming into the nose on the in-breath and the slightly warmer air leaving the nose on the out-breath. After each out-breath, just waiting for the in-breath to come naturally. There's no need to change the breath at the moment, just slowly tuning in to how it already feels. Can you feel the air just inside the nostrils as it flows in and out of the body? If you can't feel the breath at the nose, then don't worry. You can place your index finger just underneath your nose so that you can monitor the airflow as sensations on the top of your finger. And this will give you feedback on your breathing. So just noticing if the breath is fast or slow, if it's heavy or gentle, if you can hear your breath or if it's quiet. And as you feel the flow of the breath, at the nose or on your finger as best you can, just allowing the body to breathe naturally. It's natural for the mind to wander. And when you notice this, just gently escorting your attention back to the breath. And so now that you have a sense of how the breath feels, we'll move into the second stage of the exercise where we begin to soften and slow down the breath. So as you feel the flow of the breath at the nostrils, you might find that you can slightly reduce or slow down the flow of air entering and leaving your nose. So perhaps just experimenting with this now. So we're just beginning to start to soften the breath, allowing the breath to be so subtle that you can no longer hear it. Softening and slowing the breath so that you're taking about 20% less air into the body than you would normally do. You might imagine that it's as if you were holding a feather underneath the nostrils and that your breathing is so soft that the feather doesn't even flutter. Softening and slowing the breath so that as carbon dioxide begins to accumulate in the body, you start to feel a gentle air hunger so that you feel like you're not getting quite enough air so that you feel like you would like to take a deeper breath, but you don't. Allowing the feeling of air hunger to build, but don't let it get too much. So we're just softening and slowing the breath only as much as you need to, to create a feeling of mild air hunger. If the air hunger feels too strong, or if you become tense or stressed, then perhaps easing off a little, letting your body breathe a bit more, and finding the right level of intensity for you. And remember, you can always take a rest for 15 to 30 seconds, and then come back to the exercise. There's no need to hold your breath or restrict your breathing. There's no need to control the breath. Just allowing your breathing to soften by concentrating on the air as it flows in and out of the nostrils. Being playful with the exercise so that you can find a way of doing it where your body can stay relaxed.
If you start to feel tense, then just gently encouraging the muscles of your body to soften and relax. So allowing the muscles around the mouth and the jaw to relax. Allowing the tops of the shoulders to drop down away from the ears. Letting the arms be soft and heavy. Allowing the belly to relax. Allowing the buttocks and the legs to relax too. Allowing the whole body to soften and relax. And then allowing your attention to come back to the feel of the flow of the breath at the nostrils. Gently encouraging the breath to become quiet, soft and subtle. And just noticing if there's any positive feedback from the body. If the mouth is salivating or if you start to feel more at ease, then this can be a sign that the nervous system is calming down. If the body starts to feel warmer, then this can be a positive sign that your blood circulation is improving and that more oxygen is being delivered to the tissues in your body and brain. And now as we come to the end of the exercise, just letting go of the breath, just allowing your breathing to return to its normal rhythm and depth. And as you continue with your day, the invitation is to come back to your breath from time to time, noticing when the breathing is fast or heavy and taking a few moments to pause, to come into stillness and to soften and slow your breath for a few minutes. By coming back to your breathing regularly throughout the day and gently softening and slowing the breath, you will feel calmer and clearer. And in the long term, you will support your journey to optimal well-being. But for now, thank you so much for following along with this exercise. And I wish you all the best. Thank you.